Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Heavy Rain. So last episode, we found out that there was some type of origami killer on the loose. And he's going out and about, and we're out investigating different crimes, I guess. Tuesday, 8.05. Here we are, arriving at the crime scene. Oh, I'm shaking. No. We saw a little bit of that. Who am I playing as now? I don't think I know him yet. Hmm. What are they looking at? Yes, Jill. A body Whoa. was found here on this patch of wasteland early this morning. The police are still searching the scene and questioning anyone who might have seen something, but no information has still to be yet concerning the identity of the victim. Of course. Everyone's wondering if the body is that of Jeremy Bowles, and has the Oregonian killer struck again. <clears throat> In any case, our team is on the scene, and we will keep you informed of the live report as soon as we have any information. I'm Brittany Sanders, for IC. Okay, Brittany, do your thing, do your thing. Got a news reporter. Mm-hmm. Am I walking the wrong way? Uh-oh, Brittany's stalking me. Get away! Ah! Are they gonna say anything? Hello, officers. Let me just butt in in the middle here. Okay, got nothing to say for me. Just Don't pass them through. Officer. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. Got Norman Jaden? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, of course. Love that name. If I were to ever have a son, his name would have been Jaden. But Norman just reminds me of Norman Bates. Let me just squeeze on through. Check. You can pass. Blake. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Okay. Trying to look for a guy named Lieutenant Blake. Hmm. Ooh, cool guy. What are you doing? What is that? High tech glasses? Video memo recording. <gasps> Agent four seven zero two three Nam and Jaden. Tuesday, October fourth, two thousand and eleven. Time is eight fourteen a.m. Whoa. Recording. Ooh, this is cool! Oh, he took it off. Let me put that back on. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep it on and record everything, just in case. I hope it doesn't run out of power or something, if I record too much. What's R1 do? <gasps> oh, 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 whoa. Blake? I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. What went on down here? Scanning, 
scanning, scanning. Footprints everywhere. Hey, Blake. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. I am looking like, for that. Can you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? Ooh. That. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. And how do you know that? Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Any witnesses? Any witnesses? None yet. Now, given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Mm -hmm. uh, we know cause. the cause of death. There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. So Tony, oh. I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Um, any leads? Do you have any leads? My men are going over to see him with a fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind. We'll find it. Um, there are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, yeah. no, of course not. That's that's not what I meant. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later? Back at the office. Well, no problem. I understand. Back at the office. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jade, you come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. All right. So, gotta investigate. Hmm. All right, what went on over here? There's something over there. What is that icon? Whoa. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. What? Follow the trail. Pollen. Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Oh. Um. What? Oh, no! No! Go back! I wanna see that! Uh, this one. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. An orchid? A small origami figure in the right hand. Oh, so that's why they call them the origami killer. After the time of death. Okay. The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Jeremy. Oh, we could look more. Um, oh, almost missed Superficial that. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long lasting state of exhaustion. Okay, so the body was moved over here. They put a flower on him. 
and an origami in his hand. What's this? His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. All right. We got everything we need to find here. Scanning, scanning. Harry comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Hmm. How do I change camera? There we go. Did I already look at that? Yeah. Is there anything I need to investigate? Hmm. Oh, it doesn't want me to go over there. I reached the end of the map. Oh, new clue. Dead cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Not yet. Not yet. Why is there a dead cat? Was he drowned in this puddle? I don't know where I'm going right now. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm getting so delusional right now. I do not know where I'm walking. Can you walk faster, please? Ooh, there we go. Palm particles disappear in the tall grass. It's very common. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Ooh, what's his blood doing over here? Oh, another clue. Ooh, more clues. I feel like I'm finding treasure. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. The killer was over here. That blood was from the victim. There's a dead cat. Don't know why. Harry Connor. The traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. Comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. So, gotta go up and check. It's too slippery. Hold. 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 Uh. Uh. 
Okay, it's training me, it's training me. Let me try again. <laughs> climb. Climb. Uh. Oh god. Uh. No! Gosh, why is this so hard? Climb the mountain! Here we go... Oh. My god! Almost to the top. R2. L2. R1. And left. Ugh. Yes. I made it. Better find something good. Oh. Yes. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Okay, the killer was up on the highway. He went down to the fence, scraped his arm or something. Very common. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. I think I've seen all there is to see. Oh, really? No. Really? Ugh. Okay. The killer. Down to go. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. No, no. E, e. E. Oh no. That was confusing. Any clues for me back here? Ooh. No. Oh, there we go. Treasure. Sample of no interest. It comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Ah, oh, what a waste. Ah, uh, murder. Where did they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? FBI. Okay. FBI? If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. I'm gonna ask Is you about your coffee. coffee you drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. Ooh. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. Why'd they be so mean to me? Pretty chilly, huh? Awkward. Uh, let me just drink some coffee. Go, 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 go. Alright. I 
should be energized. Blake. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. Uh. Stay? Yeah. I'm gonna have another look around if you don't mind. Take all the time you want. I just need to make sure I got everything. What was that? I heard another clue somewhere. There. No criminal record. Did I find everything? Activate my powers! Colin Smith? Harry, comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the way. Ugh. Anything behind here? Should I just leave? Did I get enough information? Hmm. I guess I'm gonna drive off. Did I get what I'm looking for? This is really gonna affect me once I play through this. Like, did you look thoroughly enough for all the clues? And I'm gonna be here like... Mmm... I think? Hopefully? FBI Investigator Unlocked. Bat, Insect, or Butterfly? Mmm... I see a butterfly! A butterfly. Um, a fox, a wolf, I see a wolf. A wolf's head. Mm-hmm. Um, a crab faces, a crab. A crab. Blood, death, or shadow. Hmm? Death? death. I see kind of like a grim reaper. Death. Ego. Oh, there goes my boy Ethan. Why are you investigating me like that? I have this? the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. So I was However, hit by the I am car. However, I'm worried about your psychological condition. Hmm. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. 
Sorry guys, I'm back. Easy, but you My light overheated. You're not Let's do this again. Happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame <laughs> yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He is unhappy. I know he's really unhappy. He just can't understand why I seem unable to love him. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? Um, I feel depressed. I no longer want to live. I didn't mean it like that. To continue. Not even for your son, Sean. That's what I'm saying. What you talking about? Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Oh. Uh, uh, blackouts. I sometimes have these blackouts. Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later, but I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. You <gasps> really don't oh. know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. I was in a coma for six months? That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. We're just learning more and more every day. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Mm. Yeah, I'm nothing to say about that. Hmm. Four ten p.m. Zero point nine eight six inches. Uh, how was school? How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. Oof. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. Oof. I'm sorry about that. Show. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? I'm gonna have a little talk with your teacher. Uh, do you have a problem? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm alright. But you're not telling me? Do you want to eat something? Is that a yes? Go play. Aren't you go gonna play. go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Mm, that's what you wanna do? Let me just peek in your bag. You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? Uh oh. Watch me knock myself in the head and get a concussion again. <laughs> and throw. Pack. <gasps> I did it. Yay! There we go. Make Sean smile. Two, three. Okay. Okay. Whoa! You did it, Dad. Yes. Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, I'll on. show you together. how. Come on. Now the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now you gotta throw it straight and a little to the right. Okay, uh throw. Now throw it. No! 
Bye. Oh, I wow. Did I did it, Dad. Good uh -huh. job, Sean. See? That wasn't so hard. Hey. He's so happy now. <laughs> oh, what was that? What else you want to do? You just gonna be miserable again on the bench? It was gonna... It gave me the option to do something. I missed it. Merry-go-round. What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. <laughs> great! Oh, he's like, great! <laughs> Fly off! Okay, okay. Mm. A what? <laughs> Let me try this again, Shawnee boy. Come on! I'm trying! I'm trying! Girl! Uh, this is such, such a workout! Uh. There you go! Make him laugh! Come on, keep the positive energy! Good training for astronauts, though. <laughs> <laughs> but do you want to be an astronaut? Oh, what are you selling? I like Candy. A packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Oh, that looks good. Thanks. Ooh, a dollar. Yeah, hey, good deal. I got you some chewies. I hate strawberries. Mm. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. You could have just asked the guy to switch. Mm. How much, sir? I can't ask. To go on the merry-go-round there? Why is that kid by herself? Uh-oh, Sean. Ugh! You wanna go play on the swing? I'll push you. You're talking to no one, Ethan. Okay. Come on over here. X square. Pull you up and let go. That's it. Did I do that she wrong? Did. Come on now. Come on, Dad. Higher. <laughs> Truck. These are interesting controls. Push you. <laughs> Your little squeal. <laughs> you 
You got a cute little laugh, Sean. <laughs> that was cool. You like that? <laughs> Just having a fun little day with my boy. I seesaw. Seen a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah. Am I supposed to be on the other side of this? Boy, you're gonna go flying. <laughs> There you go. Come on, Dad, make me fly. Oh, you want to fly? Choo choo. Yeah. Pump it, Ethan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pump it. Pump it. Pump it up. Oh yeah. Daddy. <laughs> Uh, pump it up. <laughs> I like Sean's laughs. What else we got? Move it. Looked like she was doing jump rope, but she's not even doing anything. Let me go over here. Just coming through. <laughs> He's like, do I leave him? Do I don't? You ready to go, Shawnee boy? Looks like rain's coming. I think we better Heavy go. Heavy rain. Okay. It's been raining every day that we've been playing this. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Hmm. Me too, Sean. Me too. Which way are we going, Sean? I was... I thought the exit was the other way. Hey, Dad! Can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Oh, now you wanna go sure. there. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. I was like, why are you walking that way? The exit was on the other side. One, please. That's a dollar. Ooh. Man, everything's a dollar here. Okay, shiny boy. Hmm. Doesn't that remind you of Alice from Detroit Become Human? What's that I hear? I'm tripping again. Going on, Ethan. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm back here. Ah! I should get run over again. Uh oh, I'm back here. Sean! No! Where are you, Sean? Uh oh. Sean! You're not at the carousel anymore. Obviously.
What the heck is going on? <laughs> uh oh, he's gone. Please tell me he's in the bathroom. Turned off again. <laughs> <laughs> 